What is up, everybody? OGP back with you for a special midweek, not a normal day video. Yesterday, I saw on the Wet Movie Ones channel that Barnes and Noble was having a 50% sale on the Criterion collection. So I was like, dude, I got to go down there and check this out. So we went to Barnes and Noble, check out the Criterions. Of course, had a look at the Funko Pops. And from there, um, the, the Barnes and Noble down near where I live, or the one I chose to go to, there's a couple of them, but the one I went to, uh, it's in the same shopping uh, center, like it's in the parking lot, but uh, as a Temecula Valley Promenade. So then I went inside there and we hit up Hot Topic and then I my wife and daughter. So we hit up a bunch of stores in there, but I grabbed a few things today. In the Criterion, I picked up, I had like six in my hand that I was really debating on. And I was like, ah, you know what? Um, and I didn't want to go too crazy. Uh, most of them are movies that I'd never seen, um, but it was like, oh, you know, I kind of like to have this. It had like a, a good director or actor or somebody that I thought would be cool. Uh, pardon me to check out. Uh, but uh, I put all back but two, and I picked up two that, um, one I thought was just really cool, another one is must have in your collection. Um, and I, I don't even have uh, like the non-criterion version of the blob it's kind of dark it's a dark cover kind of hard to see hopefully you guys can see that I'm trying to get out of the reflection um but um yeah it's you know 1958 82 minutes uh color um you know it doesn't have um on the back here i guess you know maybe things were different back then but it doesn't have too much about um, um a whole lot of the cast and all that information but anyways i, I don't need to get into that it's the blob Everybody's heard of the blob. So, um, picked that up. Originally, it was $39, and it's actually a Blu ray. For me, you know, I'm all about my DVDs. I don't mind or I don't have a problem with Blu rays. Obviously, we all know the quality is a little bit better, but um, I just I get the Blu rays dirt cheap, and, uh, or I'm sorry, I get my DVDs dirt cheap, so I'm happy with that. And uh, most of the movies I watch, on DVD are, are not good enough quality that it matters if they were Blu-ray or not. So, uh, and then the other one I got was uh, The Beatles, A Hard Day's Night. And uh, this was actually made in 1964. Uh, it says, Meet the Beatles just one month after they exploded onto the uh, US scene uh, with their Ed, Sh Ed Sullivan Show appearance. Uh, they began working on a project that would bring their revolutionary talent to the big screen, A Hard Day's Night in which bandmates play slapstick version of themselves. So um, uh, it also has, so it, it's basically a film, I guess, about them, which I've never seen this film, so I'm really excited. Um, I mean, the Beatles are, you know, probably one of the biggest iconic musical groups in history. You know, I, I don't care who you are, hundreds of years from now, like we talk about Shakespeare or, um, you know, Picasso and things like that from the past, people will be talking about the Beatles. So, um, and then it looks like special features. They have a bunch of their music on here as well. So, uh, can't wait to open this guy up and check it out. Um, which, you know what? You know what? Let's let's take a look inside right now. Um, I didn't buy these to just leave on the shelf. Um, I intend on actually watching them and checking it out. So. Anyways, so we've got the nice sleeve here. Um, oh, it looks like there's even, if I cared to rip it open, there's a picture on the inside of that, which I'm not going to do that. So then we've got the Hard Day's Night. I'm seeing this for the first time with you guys, so pardon me if I kind of am looking at it too. Uh, open it up. We've got a couple discs. Another disc. So it looks like three disc set here. Picture of the Beatles on the back. And then the book. Um, chapters, cast credits, the world is watching, um, making of Hard Day's Night, and about about the transfer. Maybe the transfer to Criterion, or I'm uh, not sure what the transfer is. But um, anyways, I'll definitely be thumbing through this at some time. Um, and I don't want to damage the pages and open it wide enough for you guys to see every page. But um, anyways, a... Uh, a real Beatles fan, I'm sure any real Beatles fan would enjoy having this in their collection. Um, and I'm not the world's biggest Beatles fan, but um, but I do enjoy their music and um, I respect 
what they are. In fact, I've got that but a, a Beatles poster on the wall that, if you guys remember, and my daughter jacked it from me a while back and put it in her room because she has actually a vinyl record player. Um, and then over at Hot Topic in the mall after we left, um, and my daughter got a Harry Potter book. It was normally 11 bucks. It was on sale for five over there at Barnes & Noble. So books are on sale too. So, man, big ups to what movie won for um, promoting that sale because I would not have known about it and uh, I would not have gotten these, and that's awesome. I'm, I, I'm thrilled to death with having those. I went to a Hot Topic where I got Killer's Eddie. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you are a fan of Iron Maiden and a fan of Pops, dude, you gotta have this, right? So, um, anyways, um, you know, I just, I thought this was pretty badass. Now there's, you know, there's different, there's different Eddies that you, you can get, um, but this is Killer's Eddie, and so uh, really, really happy about that. To add that to my collection, which I've got all my Pops lined up there. And then, um, I let my daughter pick out a shirt because I had to buy one, get one for half off on the shirts. And so I use, I usually, you know, uh, not today, I'm rocking the Patriots, but um, I have a shirt, an Iron Maiden shirt that I got there a while back. And their sleeves are not the greatest on the Hot Topic shirts. They're not the best quality, but um, but the print always lasts on them. But uh, the shirts are just, they don't fit right. They're kind of weird. So um, I cut the, cut the sleeves off my Maiden shirt and it's, it's a pretty badass cut off now. And I intend on doing the same thing with this, is that I got the badass Slayer t-shirt. Oh yeah, oh yeah. They had a couple different Slayer shirts and the one that I really wanted that I saw the poster of, um, they actually didn't have my size. So I opted for this one, which is a pretty badass shirt. So this will be rocked in a video very, very soon. You'll see me rocking this puppy. Had a great time out at the mall. The mall was packed, lots of people. Maybe not, it wasn't as packed as you would see on Black Friday or something like that. But for a midsummer Sunday, dude, there was a lot of people in the mall. So chowed down on some. <sighs> Gotta love the pepper jack uh, hot dog on a stick. You know, instead of getting the hot dog, you get the cheese, but the pepper jack, oh man. I think it's pepper jack. Uh, uh, oh man, it's so good, so good. So, anyways, that's it. That's what I got. Again, big ups to Wet Movie 1 for. Um, mentioned in that sale so you know I wouldn't I would not have known about it but um, anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, Tuesday coming up to I, I said to I was like Tuesday uh, coming up this Tuesday uh, we have uh, the video we'll be releasing is uh, myself fluffy gamer fat samurai guy and a cinestalker all partying down at the cinestalker's house man that was a lot of fun we went to uh, fat samurai guy and I went to FYE up in the Moreno Valley Mall, and then we also went to uh, the Book Off down in San Diego. So I have a bunch of pickups there. Plus, Fluffy Gamer surprised me with some uh, late birthday gifts that were really, really cool. So you can see those and check out all the fun we had down partying at Sinstalker's house this coming Tuesday night at 6 p.m. Be sure you're subscribed so you guys get to see all of those videos. We release videos every Tuesday and every Friday at 6 p.m. For your viewing pleasure so anyways thank you guys for watching um, again please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll catch you guys on the next one